Hey Taurus, this is Jamie Little Red Tarot. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Winter Solstice, December 2019 to March 2020. And I know, we're running a little bit behind. I'm trying to get caught up. So we're going to do this quickly. I did all the pre-shuffling. If you're subscribed to the Little Red Tarot family, thank you so much. Please like and share. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get those notifications and like and share. Everything you need to know is down in the description box below. Private readings, the link for the Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, which I need for your private reading. The cards that I use. And of course, donations are greatly appreciated and accepted. In the pre-shuffle, I get messages. I write them down. Sometimes they're extra messages. Sometimes they're clarifications. If there's something in this message that is for you, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. It resonates great. It's not what it's gay. It's your message. Use your intuition. Apply it where it fits. Don't force it to fit. Timeless reading whenever you come across it's when you're meant to hear it. Tarot's here to help, not hinder. If you don't like the outcome, change it. You are the captain of your own ship. You have your own free will. Sometimes I'll pick up on the energy of the opposite person. So even though I'm being for Taurus, I'll pick up on who you're dealing with. Again, your message, apply it where it fits. When I see major arcana cards, like a Leo or Aries or whatever, that's not you. It's either in your chart, it's your sun, moon, or rising, or it's who you're dealing with. Or sometimes you just need to take on that energy of that sign. Sometimes it just means nothing at all. Again, take it, apply it, leave it. Some of this message may apply, all of it, none of it. Sometimes the only message there for you is the... Beginning messages. Again, it's a general reading, so fit it where it fits. I'm going to go quickly so we can go ahead and get through this. Happy New Year. Be careful. Don't drink and drive. I hope it's a wonderful, great 2020. Let's go ahead and open up with a little prayer. Lord in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit. I want to thank you for this day and thank you for our blessings. I want to thank you for this gift that you give me. I want to thank you for speaking to me and through me. I want to thank my spirits, my personal spirits, and the spirits of those who are listening. And whatever message you need to get across. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Alright, in the pre-shuffle Taurus, I got get up, take a shower, first step out of depression, call some friends. And then I heard for somebody baptized, do it, never too old, never too late, do whatever that's for. And then I got salt water, seaside, um, take a trip, fishing, and then I got stingray, maybe a boat name or a location, like maybe a street name or something. And then I got watch the flames, a bonfire, be careful, just, you know, just keep an eye on it, don't let it get out of control, don't let the kids, you know, start messing with it, don't leave it unintended, you know, however that applies, just be careful, everybody just be careful, and then, um, I got saddle up cowboy slash cowgirl, and I got the, then the abundance card flipped over in my career deck, and then in my final message, my Celtic deck, um, the ace of swords popped out, so victory, success, so whatever endeavor or relationship or whatever it is you're about to open up and do, I was saying, saddle up, it's going to be a ride, whether it's a relationship um, or a work or something like that. Maybe you're starting something. I don't know. Apply it where it fits, but whatever it is, go ahead and do it. It's going to be fun. It's going to bring victory, success, abundance. Oh, I'd like to know where that applies for y'all. That'd be cool. All right. So, I pre shuffled. I want three cards for messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Winter Solstice. December 2019, March 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for being here. Thank you for speaking to me and through me. What messages do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Winter Solstice, December 2019, March 2020? Oh, thank you. Three cards, please. Two more. Thank you. One more card, please, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Winter Solstice. Oh, do reversals. It wasn't reversal, though. One more card, please, for Taurus. I kind of mumbled that. I don't do reversals, but it wasn't reversal anyways. Alright, sorry. Taurus, I'm going to thank you. Right, there's our three cards. Let's see. We have the Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. Queen of Swords, about watering your own garden. Cutting out the bullshit, cutting out what doesn't serve you. Which I'm going to say it over and over again. We are leaving the end of a whole decade, decade starting a whole new one. It's about cutting out those karmic cycles. If you haven't already done it, this is, you need to do it. Your intuition, you know, you've been putting it off. Whatever it is, whether it's a bad habit, whether it's a person, whether it's a job. The way of thinking, cut out what doesn't serve you. Start learning how to love yourself and water your own garden. You can't give love, receive love until you learn how to love yourself. You have to give, learn love yourself in order to give love and receive love. Two of Pentacles. This is... He's working really hard building, putting those pencils together. He doesn't have very many. But he's working really hard and gathering some more. He's working on that third pentacle. 
Right now he's only got two. But those two of pentacles all start with that page of cups. You have to plant that cup. Okay, see? All right, see, you have the two of pentacles, and you're trying to figure out why they won't grow. Why you only have two. Why you can't get this third one built. Because he's like, ah, right? If he's got all it all up in the air, the axe and the knife and all that, he's like, he doesn't look, like, angry. He just looks, look at that face. He's like, ah, just, I just can't get this third one. Why? Because you're focusing all on your pentacles and not on planting that cup. The cup is like an, is like the emotional foundation. The pentacles are the, you know, the material, the abundance. You can't figure out why you can't get more than two pentacles. It's because you got to learn how to water your garden so you can plant that cup. Because we have the queen of swords. Look how desolate that is. But that's all right. She's cutting out in the server and she's learned how to water her own garden. Focused on the pentacles. But in order to multiply your pentacles, you need to plant your cup, your emotional cup. You need to learn how to self-love, self-water. And the two of pentacles, it's also about balance. It's about balancing all this. The balancing the physical, the logical, the emotional. If you want to grow your pentacles, you need to also focus on your emotional self. Plant that cup. Manifest this so you can... Change this desolate emotional self to this abundance. So you can plant this. And these will grow. Three cards, please. Taurus, Sun, and Rising, Winter Solstice, December 2019, March 2020. <laughs> I came out in reverse. I don't normally take them. Let's see where it, what it looks like if I keep it in reverse. And it's funny because Aries got this card in the reverse too and it fit. So I actually kept it. So let's see. Three cards, please. Or two more cards, please. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Winter Solstice, December 2019 to March 2020. Thank you. One more card, please. One more card, please. For Taurus, Sun, and Rising. Winter Solstice, December 2019 to March 2020. I missed it. We have one more card, please. Thank you. Oh, we got two more. Okay. See, I thought that was the fool, but it was actually the strength. If I kept these in reverse, I'll read these to you in reverse, and then I will turn them around and put them upright. In the reverse, the Five of Cups, normally upright, the Five of Cups is, you can't see the cups behind you because you're too busy staring at the cups that are spilled over right in front of you. If you would just stop pouting and turn around, you'd see the cups. In reverse, you've stopped doing that. You've learned to see the blessings. Okay, even these are blessings. The spilled cups, the tower moments, all that. They're blessings. You've learned to figure that out in reverse. The strength card. Strength is Leo. Remember what I told you. Not being in your chart and all that. Or nothing at all. But strength card it's your strength, your, your personal strength. It takes a lot of strength to do that. Well, in reverse, you're weak. So you want to stop, you want to start behaving this way? But in trying to be, you're, you're, I feel like someone's really depressed because isn't that what I got? Get up and take a shower? Some for somebody in particular, someone's really depressed. You want to get you want to get out of this energy. You want to make this a reversal. You want to get up, but you're just so emotionally weak. No matter how bad you want this, because then we have the devil card, which is the card of Capricorn, but it's about addiction. It's about toxicity. But if you look, you can remove those chains. They're so loosely set on there. You can remove those chains. You can turn this weakness into strength. You can change this. You can remove yourself from this toxicity. What did I say? I said get up and take a shower. Call some friends. It's, it's 
I'm, I'm recording this on New Year's Eve. There's lots of things going on. Lots of things going on all weekend, even if it's not going on tonight. I promise you. Get up, take a shower. Because the Seven of Pentacles over here, you've been planting your garden. You've been planting your pentacles. You're sitting here waiting for something to change, waiting for them to grow. Well, you have to make that decision. You have to add a different nutrient, add a different, some more soil, or <clears throat> maybe you need to prune them back or something. Something's, nothing's going to change. You can't sit here and just wait. You have to make that first step. You need to reach out. I know you're saying, well, if people really care about me, they reach out. Maybe they have been, dude. But you kept pushing them away, pushing them away. This could be going on for a while. This could be a... And you're so good at playing it off. You need to get up. Change this. End this negativity. Get your strength back. You can make your pentacles grow some more. Because look. See what I say? This is about planting an emotional cup. It's not just about the pentacles. And if you want the pentacles to grow... You need to figure out this emotional self. You need to cut out what doesn't serve you. Cut this energy out. Get up. Do something. Now, if we put this in the reversal or in the upright, this is about not being able to see the cups behind you. You have the strength to break this toxicity so that you can watch your pentacles grow. If we do it like this, You've left this negative behavior behind, this negative energy. You've started focusing on the cups and not the negative cups. You see, this is a blessing. It's taken a lot of strength to get over this toxicity. You've got your seven pinnacles. I mean, no matter how you read it, it's kind of the same message. Because you already did those in reversal. So, either which way, it still rings kind of true within the same message. You need to plant that emotional cup. You need to gather your strength. Walk away from the toxicity. So you can watch your pentacles grow. You need to... I, I like it better like that. We need to leave this. You've left this behind. Cut this out. Cut this, this crap out. It's going to take strength. Clean the swords. Water your own garden. Plant your own seeds. Plant your own cup. Take care of your emotional self. Your pentacles aren't going to grow until you... Heal yourself. Walk away from the toxicity. These people, these naysayers, whatever it is that's holding you back. It could be your own thoughts. It could be an actual drug addiction. It could be a family member. It could be a toxic relationship with a friend or a lover. A job. A bad job. Bad boss. Something. I don't know. Like I said, apply it where it fits. Okay. So, extra messages and clarifications, please. Taurus, I'm in the rising. Thank you. Two more cards. Winter Solstice, December 2019, March 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for being here. Thank you for speaking to me and through me. One more card, please. The Taurus, I'm rising. I'm not going to take that one. Winter Solstice. Oh, my goodness. Winter Solstice, December 2019, March 2020. One more card, please. Taurus, I'm rising. Nice. Do you know what I said? I said victory and success. That's awesome. Okay. Accelerated motion. Firm foundation. Big dream success. If you haven't already, you need to change this negative thinking to positive thinking. Cut out what doesn't serve you, water your own garden. You can't figure out why you can't get your pentacles to grow. It's going to take a lot of strength to emotionally heal yourself. Plant that cup. Grow your emotions. Let go of this toxicity, this addiction, so that you can grow your pentacles. You need to take the first action because you can't make it change. As soon as you realize that and you take that first step, you accelerate the motion. Things start moving forward. You build yourself a firm foundation. There is victory and success. You've got to leave that toxicity behind. You know what it is. You know who or what it is. <coughs> Don't take it into this new decade. If you've already worked that, if you've already worked that out, this see this is a winter solstice. So it's a three month period. So even though you've cut it out, it's gonna it's a slow process. You gotta watch that seed grow, right? 
doesn't happen overnight. You gotta plant that seed and then watch it grow. Aries got a lot of this kind of the same stuff. So maybe you have Aries in your chart or who you're dealing with. Or maybe you just need to take on that boss attitude in Aries. Aries is such a boss. Tauruses are stubborn bullhead and they stand their ground when you need to be. Sometimes the stubborn bullheadedness is what you need. And that's what you need to do against this toxicity, against this negative thinking. <coughs> Call somebody, whatever it is, whatever it is you're going through. But you maybe you can take on that boss attitude. I'm the boss. And just be your own boss. Be it. Do it. Alright, these are my love cards. Now love could be relationship, romantic, friendship, co-workers. It could be family. It whatever, wherever there's actual love involved. So, not just some um, so so acquaintance, but deep love. So, three cards, please, for love relationships for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Winter Solstice, September 2019. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for being here. Thank you for speaking to me and me. What messages do we have? Love relationships for Taurus, Sun, and Rising. Thank you, Winter Solstice, December 2019, March 2020. Two more cards, please. Taurus, thank you. Thank you very much. We got those. Well deserved reward. Open up. Chakra, sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is I want. It's like their reproductive organs. It's water. It's orange. So it's want. This could be. I'm sorry. This could be. You want a family. You you feel it's reproductive. You you want. Marriage. Now this is a love relationship. This is very much that love relationship. So and it could just be about manifesting this. But you have to open up your heart chakra. All this is about dealing with your own emotions, planting your own cup, watering your own garden, self-love. When you learn how to do that, remember, it accelerates. You get a firm foundation. There is victory and success. It is a well-deserved reward. You open up. You have to open up your heart. You have to love yourself in order to open up to give love and receive love. You want to do that. You want a family. I feel like I need to pull some clarification cards, please. For more time in rising relationship situation, love situation. Winter solstice, December 2019, March 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Hear me. Clarification cards, please. Taurus, love relationships, summer and rising, winter solstice, December 2019, March 2020. Clarification cards for love relationships for Taurus, Sun, and Rising. Thank you. Sun, and Rising. Winter Solstice. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. okay. Oh, goodness. Right. We have this is here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands, and in this particular deck, you are not really looking where you're going. You're you're trying to find something. You're wandering through this garden. There looks like there's all these different runes. It's all foggy. You have, you're clueless. You're just you don't know where you're going. You need to stop. And remove the blindfold. I'm not sure who this is for because here's this Nine of Swords, and look at that. Just just look like just laid down, just like gave up. Just like I just can't do this anymore. But the Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords is right here. The Nine of Pentacles is the wish. Oh, sorry, this is the Five of Pentacles. See, I see the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is right around the corner for you. I can feel it. This is the Five of Pentacles. This, but this is about letting the old rest. See this? Just. Setting it to rest. She's, she's in there and she's letting it go. You see all this? Like her good vibe. Just letting it go. Taking control. This is a wild bird. You'd see it and you'd think like, it would never just land on my arm. I don't have that kind of control. When you calm your inner self, when you remove the blindfold so that you can manifest your way out of this nine, nine of swords, Where did I see the 
Ah, over here. Okay. When you manifest yourself as a nine of swords, you take off the blindfold. So right now you're just walking blindly. You need to manifest. You need to stop and move that blindfold. You've got to get out of this. You can't just give up. There's a well-deserved reward waiting for you. You need to release this negativity and open up your heart chakra. Plant that cup. So that you can take control of your world. Of your surroundings. You can't control how anybody else behaves. All you can control is you and how you react and your surroundings. And when you calm yourself, things calm down around you. You want this. You've got to learn how to manifest this. Someone's really depressed. Someone really just needs to get up and take a shower. Someone needs to call a friend. This is very specific. I keep picking up on that one person. But for other people, see, I don't think that was for everybody. This, these, those cards right there. So for other people, let's recap so we can get... You need to cut, whatever this is, you need to cut it out. You need to cut out what doesn't serve you. You need to start watering your own garden. So that you can leave this negative behavior behind and start seeing the positivity. Okay? You can't see where your pentacles won't grow. It's going to take strength to plant your own cup and leave this toxicity behind. You need to, it, they will grow when you start leaving this toxicity behind, but slowly. You need to take the next step. You can't sit around and wait for them to grow. You've got to change the soil up or something. Because then, you have, when you make that decision to plant your cup and start working on yourself emotionally, or ch or maybe you've already planted this cup, now it's time to till your soil. You need to, There's something else you need to do. Something else you need to leave behind. When you make that decision, things accelerate. You gather yourself a firm foundation. There is victory and success. There's a well-deserved reward. You need to open up your heart chakra. You want to do this. You want this family. You want this pentacles. Maybe in order to, you don't, you are afraid to ask whoever it is that you're with to marry you until you get these pentacles together. You need to open up. You need to talk to them. You need to explain this to them. They love you, and but you need to quit holding back because they're feeling that. That's what they're feeling. I get it now. That's what they're feeling. They don't feel, they don't understand. They feel that something's holding you back, but they don't know what it is. You need to talk to them. You need to open up. Explain to them what you want. I want this family. I want this with you. I want this well-deserved reward with you. I've got to build my pentacles first. Let them in on it. You have to talk to them. Okay. Now, this is career situations. This could be your life purpose that you're, you're either already following, so it's going to give you a little more advice on it. Um, your life purpose, I always tend to feel, is the one that you knew that you wanted to do when you were a little kid. I mean, like new, like the logical one. I mean, we all want to be a fire truck or a superwoman. But the one that you really stuck with, like the veterinarian or the doctor or the mechanic. You know, the carpenter, whatever. But, you know, life got in the way. So instead of following your dreams, you have to adult and pay your bills. So sometimes it's about that it's time to start focusing on that. Or it's about your hobbies or it's about volunteering. It's about your coworkers. It could be about, you know, your current job situation, like a raise or something like that so again if you're a message take it where it applies so this is for career situations for Taurus summon and rising winter solstice September 2019 to March 2020 thank you spirits thank you for being here three cards please for career situations for Taurus thank you summon and rising winter solstice September 2019 to March 2020 two more cards please career situations for Taurus summon and rising winter solstice thank you one more card please thank you very much is there one that flipped over Give my father a soft slipper, but maybe I got the only one. Yep. Okay, I guess not. I could have sworn I saw one. Okay. Oop, there's that infinite abundance again, the one that popped out in my pre-shuffle. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your to your divine life purpose. It's a well-deserved reward. Open up. Artists engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. You may not be an artist. Your dream life purpose may not be artistry, but you do write uh, wonderful short stories or poems or you paint or you, you know, play an instrument. You need to get back into those hobbies. Maybe you, you know, bird watch, whatever it is. When you open up those, that chakras, 
the heart chakra by doing the things that you love you open that up you open up all you benefit every other area of your life by stepping into your hobbies there's infinite abundance waiting for you when you start stepping in this it opens up creativities within your work so let's say you're in advertisement and you're so focused on you know you, you were you do diddle daddle and like artistry and whatnot it got you into advertisement and you love what you do but you're kind of you know like what they call writer's block kind of thing you know you know your artistry is kind of advertising and you but you've been focusing so long on that you've stopped doing the diddle daddling of the artistry for the fun of it well if you get back into that it will open up those start flowing those creative juices again so that you can you know, when you're doing it in like say your basement or you know your room or your sunroom or wherever the heck it is you do it you're painting this picture or playing this piano and you're not thinking about it you're just enjoying this creativity that you have this hobby that you love so much it'll just pop in your head and you'll be like oh and you'll have to write it down make sure you keep pen and paper nearby okay for somebody else there's traveling involved your life purpose involves traveling I don't know who that applies to. That could be you just get a, you get some sort of job that requires you to go to certain business meetings, or or maybe you get a job like as a motivational speaker about opening up your creative juices, maybe. Can I get some clarification on that travel card, please? Clarification card, please, for travel. For that travel card, please, for Taurus Sun and Rising. Which is also September 9th, 19, March 2020. Thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you for speaking to me. Clarification card, please. Clarification on this travel card, please. One more second. Clarification on this travel card, please. Whoa. There's that Ace of Swords again that popped out in the pre-shuffle, which is victory and success. See, four wands. Ooh. See, in my, in this deck over here, I always see the four of wands as like a wedding. And this one, she's been on this long journey, and there it is. The end of the journey, like the fairies are lighting the way. Nice, comfortable place. It looks like there's like maybe a little fire going on down there. There's the light. If I get this to focus, there we go. A couple more steps to go. Look at that. So welcoming. It's very May like, spring like. Because then there's the Ten of Cups. Oh, that's amazing. Ten of Cups is, you know, not it's it, all the emotional joy that I was talking about. The happiness, the love, the, the peace, the calm, the ultimate cups. I mean, the pentacles, all of it. There's the Sun card, which is the Leo card again. Strength. Look at that. Look at this majestic beauty. I mean, look at this abundance in the sun. Just well done, son. Or well done, daughter. Look at this. Because there's the Ace of Swords. There's the Victory card. So whoever's been offered this travel job, you better take it, my friend. Look at this. Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, the Sun card, and the Ace of Swords. Whoever's been offered this opportunity to travel, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Maybe you got Leo in your chart. Maybe the Leo has offered it to you. Or just saying that the sun card is just like, wow, look at that. Just this amazing growth and abundance and victory and success. Infinite abundance right there. Maybe it's a book you wrote. Maybe it's a painting, I don't know. But whoever involves travel, just wow. That's awesome. That is very awesome. Whoever that applies to, I'd love to hear that. That's awesome. Alright. One last set of messages. Wrap this up all, please. Wrap this all up, please. For Taurus and the Rising. Winter Solstice, December 2019 to March 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for being here. Thank you for speaking to me and through me. One last set of messages. Wrap this all up, please. For Taurus and the Rising. Winter Solstice, December 2019 to March 2020. One more shuffle, please. Three cards, please. 
Taurus 7 Rising Winter Solstice, December 2019, March 2020. One more mess. Wrap this all up, please. Three more cards. Three more cards. Thank you. Two more cards, please. Taurus 7 Rising Winter Solstice, December 2019, March 2020. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Okay. Thank you. We just get a flipper. Okay. We get the lovers. With eight of pentacles. Of course, the emperor is Aries, and that when I said that you were getting a lot of the same message Aries were, so again, could be in your chart to be you're dealing with. Could mean you just need to take on that boss like energy. Now, did we get a flipper? Oh, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Look at that. It's the ace of cups. Oh, that's lovely. Any more in there? Huh. Victory and success. Whatever this is, whether it's a love relationship or a career situation, whenever you cut out that toxicity, you, you, you get out there, you take that shower, you make that phone call, you go make some steps for growth. Maybe you finally have done that. And you made those steps. Now you've got to teal your soil and you're really doing it. When you do it, I mean, everything opens up for you. It's amazing when you leave this toxicity behind, this negativity behind. Whether you and you might have already cut that out. Now it's time to reteal that soil. It's time to do it one more time. You know how you when you clean a closet? You clean the closet and you get rid of everything. You get rid of the trash, you get rid of the goodwill, you fold everything up, you put it away. You dro go drop everything off at the trash and the goodwill. And then the next day you go back in there and say, okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. And you do the and you look through it and you surprise how much more stuff you can actually get rid of. It's like, wait a minute, do I really need this? Next thing you know, you have a whole nother bag for Goodwill and a whole nother bag of trash. And you reorganize it, you made so much more room in your closet. Well, that's what you need to do. You've done that, now it's time to do it again. You need to prune this back so that your pentacles can grow. You need to work on your emotional state because the emperor, we got that earlier. This is about taking on that boss energy, about being the boss, okay? This is about sitting in your power. Lover cards, Gemini. This is about partnership. It doesn't have to necessarily be love romantic. It doesn't have to be. It can be a business partnership, whatever. You just need to apply it. But there is some partnership that's waiting for you. You need to be the boss. Like I said, whoever this is, you don't want to marry them or ask them to marry you because you want to get your pentacles together. But you want this relationship, you need to open up to them. If this is about stepping out, Maybe you're fine with your job and you want to, uh, you, you do want to learn how to love. You're tired of being this negative Nancy. Love's never going to come to me. You've changed the way you think because you can't say, I don't want anymore. You can't say, I never get. You have to say, I want. Leave out the don't. The universe doesn't see, hear the don't part. They just hear the want. So you say, I don't want, you know, bullshit drama. All they hear is, I want bullshit drama. So you need to stop saying that. You need to start stating what you want. Maybe you've done that. Now it's time to work a little bit harder. You need to get out there. You need to do it. This is about the boss. This is about when you get out of that, you decide to take that, put your application in. Make that phone call and check on your application instead of sitting around waiting for it to happen. Stop waiting. You need to till your own soil. Make that phone call. Talk to your partner. Call somebody. Go out there and do something. Make a change. Join a group, a hobby. Do something. Start doing something. Because there is a partnership waiting for you. And that partnership may just be a good love relationship with yourself. And when you love yourself, like I said, you have to love yourself in order to give and receive love. Be your own boss. You can do this. Because then here's the Eight of Pentacles. Just working away. Your pentacles are still growing. You've gone from the Seven to the Eight of Pentacles. They're growing. As you work on your emotional cup, your pentacles slowly start growing. You're still working. Now, so just sitting here, they're being built. Set in a little pile. You're working on them. Okay, you got to teal your own soil. When you do that, things start growing again. The Queen of Cups. And this is, in this particular deck, she's sitting there by the seawater. Isn't that what I said? And even if you can't get to the ocean, you know, any kind of water, you know, even if it's just a fountain in your botanical gardens or a river or something, it will, the sound, some place where you can sit and be quiet and undisturbed. There's certain times of day that you can go to the botanical gardens or little areas that, you know, I'm not as busy and you can actually sit. But she's sitting in this listening. She's listening to nature, the water, the wind. 
she was listening to her intuition. The starfish, I like this. They're all gathered around her, helping her. She's listening to them. They're whispering to her. She's got her eyes closed. She's got all the chakras. She's got the seeing water, the seeing bowl, the looking glass. For, you know, it's not a glass, it's a bowl. It's a seeing bowl. She's listening to her intuition. What the next step is to build, continue to build these pentacles and grow this partnership. And when she listens to her intuition, look at that. Her cup just boils over, just explodes with abundance, infinite abundance. I mean, I don't, that's all this is said from the very get-go. Infinite abundance. You need to, you've left that toxicity behind. Now it's time to teal that soil again and leave another group behind. And it, like I said, it could be not somebody or something. It could be your emotional self. It could be emotional negativity thoughts, negative thoughts. There is a partnership that needs to be nurtured, whether it's a business partnership, whether it's a partnership within yourself, so that when you do that, all kinds of things open up. 2020 is infinite abundance for you, but you have to make, heal that soil one more time. Drop out this negativity one more time. I know you've already done it. I know you've already cleaned that closet. You need to clean the closet one more time time and you know what it is you know what it is that's amazing there's infinite abundance waiting for you just gotta teal this garden one more time clean that car closet one more time it's waiting for you be your own boss be that boss be the boss over your own self over your own emotions you can get up you can do it you can you've got to join something change something clean that closet there's something still that doesn't need to be there clean it cut it loose Oh my God, Happy New Year. I love you guys. Bye.